Hey guys, today I'm going to give you my top five resources to practice for the whiteboard interview. It's one of those unfortunate parts of development, and I don't think it's going to be going away anytime soon. So we got to make sure that we can kill those whiteboard interviews and actually become better developers in a certain part of development in the process. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnered up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after hours part-time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. I should mention that uh, most of these, uh, actually three of them, are going to have affiliate codes. So if you're interested in helping me out and um, you know checking out some of these items, go ahead and use the links in the description below. But Algo Expert is one of the platforms I would highly recommend that you check out. It's um, Clemens over there. Uh, it got in a little trauma in the past, but nice guy though. I haven't talked to him or met him, but seems to be a genuine guy. And and one of the great things about Algo Expert. And if you want to actually see an in-depth guide on this, uh, Real Tough Candy, if you go to her channel, she just did like a 10 or 15 minute uh, deep dive into it, going through everything. I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, but there's over 70 hours of explanations, goes over all the key things, data structures. The solutions of seven languages is one of the things that I think is pretty cool about it. Um, Space-time complexity. This is one of those items that you're always going to get asked about. You know, what's the difference before them? Um, so over 100 problems definitely check it out um you know it's one of the items that have been growing and growing and growing um in quite some time so for people looking for practice and looking for the you know best case and i again that the probably the multiple language aspect is what i like the most about it because Sometimes you'll be interviewing JavaScript. Sometimes you'll be interviewing Vi Python, Java, whatever it is. And sometimes, most of the time, it lets you do it in your language of choice. But once you're able to sort of understand it in one language and another and another, then you kind of really have it down. All right, the next one is the 100 Algorithms Challenge. A little self-promotion here. But I do think this is a quality course for you to prep and do some very practical algorithms while algo expert uh, will dive deep in some of the more computer science heavy thing this is a fantastic item for you to go and practice 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 we, we i have over a hundred algorithms that we go through with all the solutions and everything else you can check out some of the previews if you're interested and then also give some bo bonus technical phone screen which is uh, sort of a preview for my 100 front end interview question challenge you can see I have 171 ratings with a 4.6 star and about 1,600 students. Only about five of those are free. So, uh, you know, it's definitely been something people have been preparing for. It's in TypeScript. So if you're interested in interviewing for, you know, JavaScript or TypeScript role or you just want to practice problems, this is one of the ones that will really, by the end of the course, you know, I think there's about eight hours. Yeah, eight hours of content. You'll have, not only will you have 100 items that you've been able to practice through, but you'll have someone going through it as you know myself in this case so if you like the way that i do things you can do that and there's a link to that in the description below code signal now there's a lot of different type of sites out there that you can do practice problems on you have code wars you have code signal you have hacker rank i've i've tried them all um you know as i've made videos on these things code signal formerly known as code fights is my favorite i only because they have a much easier to follow like i like i like their ui ux uh, but any of those sorts of sites are going to be a great one to practice on, to get up and running, to just go, go, go. Um, I, I really do like it. So if you go to codesignal.com, you can check it out. Uh, sort of the, um, sort of the, uh, you can see I purchased this back in uh, 2018. Uh, one of the, sort of the, it's the godmother, because Gail is a woman, the godmother of the, of the uh, coding interview. Um, Gail wrote, Cracking the Coding Interview. Uh, it's now on its sixth edition. This is sort of the Bible, if you will, of the whiteboard interview problems. And it's a fantastic book. I've only done a few in them, but it, I found it very helpful. And 
you know, Gail is not a recruiter as she sort of puts it here. She's been doing interviews at some of the largest tech companies in the world. And these are sort of the problems that if you can solve them at the end of the day, you'll have no problem getting a job at Google, Microsoft, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. And last but not least, my fifth one is Pramp. I absolutely love Pramp. You can see here that they have data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral, system design, front end, data science. So there's quite a few different interview types. One of the great things that you'll get about Pramp that is different from these other platforms, you know, we have a book, we have practice problems with my course, we have uh, practice sites, and then we have like Algo Expert, which is gonna dive deeper into some of the more computer science heavy things. Pramp involves another person being there, working alongside of you. It's free to get going, and you can have you know real life engineers that are gonna team up with you and prepare you for these whiteboard interviews. And even more than that, sometimes system design interviews. When I'm when I'm feeling like I'm ready to be a tech lead and I'm ready to move on my move on with my career. I'll be diving into some of these system design interviews on Pramp. I've partnered up with them in the past just for full transparency. They've done some paid videos. This is not one of them, uh, but uh, I, I've absolutely loved the platform. I've actually interviewed the uh, CEO of this about what the goal was, and I, I've always really liked their platform. So those are my top five resources. There are links for all five of those in the description below. There's a lot more that could be covered on here. And if you're interested in where to get going and find, um, find, find some, let me go to my GitHub and you can see that I have a repo here called the ultimate coding resources list. And so there's books on here and whatnot, but there's a whole section dedicated to coding platforms, but more so when you're talking about whiteboard interviews, we're talking about algorithm platforms. You can see there's 14 different ones on here. And I'm sure there's other items on here that help, but uh, there's a link to this as well. Go ahead and give it a star while you're on there. I'm trying to get that up to 3K so I can beat Eric with his most starter repo. You know, a little bit of healthy rivalry. But uh, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you check out some of the resources and prepare for those interviews. You know, it, it's a lot of work preparing for a whiteboard interview, without a doubt. It's oftentimes fun. It's oftentimes not like it's it's just one of those things where um, it's how we go and we make a lot of money and at some of these companies that are hard to get into and um, I wish it wasn't the case and in some cases it's not but it is worth being prepared to do that and you you will start learning things and um, if you do it the right way you'll learn how to apply them in your day to day and uh, it'll help you out there although you know, depending on your role, may not super be relevant. And that's always been my my thing I've hated about whiteboard interviews is that sometimes it just feels so like it doesn't matter uh, in terms of like your typical job, but it's hard to fight the system at the same time. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe. I'm on that road to 100,000. I really want to get that silver play button and would mean the world to me. And uh, I hope I hope you all the best. Good luck. See you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.